Drink up and let's add some custom potions to Minecraft. Fortune Fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. All right, we found ourselves back intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom potions to Minecraft. So, so this will, of course, continue with the freeze effect. So we're going to add potions for our freeze effect that we added last tutorial. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a new package called the potion package. And then inside of there, we're going to make a new Java class called the mod potions. And this class will look very, very similar to a lot of things we've seen previously. We're going to have a public static final deferred register of type potion, this time called potions. This will be equal to deferred register dot create or registries dot potions and then tutorial mod dot mod id and of course once again say it with me where there is a deferred register there also is a public static void register method with an i event bus call event bus which calls potions dot register and passing in the event bus and so that we don't forget it we'll also add the mod potions dot register and passing in the event bus right here in our tutorial mod constructor right and now let's add the actual potion here so this is going to be a public static final registry object of type potion and this is going to be the freeze underscore potion which is equal to potions dot register with the name freeze underscore potion and then once again a plier of a new potion and then here we're going to make a new mob effect instance and then in here we're going to pass in the mod effects dot freeze dot get and then we're going to say 200 for the duration and zero for the amplifier. And there we have it. That is the actual freeze potion added to the game. And that's literally also all that we need to add. Uh, it's crazy enough, but it is actually the case. Now the actual potion is in the game. We're going to see in the next tutorial how to make custom brewing recipes for this as well. But there's one more thing that we need, and that is going to be the translations. Because those are very particular in how they look like and that's going to be I'm going to just add them right here I'm going to copy them over and you can see right there it is very interesting because they're all under the Minecraft namespace you can see item Minecraft potion effect freeze potion we're just going to basically say this is the freeze potion then we have the splash and the lingering potion as well we're basically going to just translate it like this so that's actually very important that you add them properly here as well but apart from that that is pretty much all that we need for the potion to be added so I guess let's see if it works all right, we found ourselves back in Minecraft and let's just search for freeze and here they are freeze potion, a splash potion of freeze and a lingering potion of freeze as well. And now let's actually see how it works on, you know, different mobs here. So we can basically take a look at this now and then you can see there they are now actually frozen in place and you can see that actually also frozen in the in the actual air, which is really freaking funny to be honest, but that is just a one very interesting thing right there. And let's also get a zombie out here just for the sake of argument. Let's take a look at this, right? So let's get some zombies in here and let's switch to actually survival mode. And then at some point they hopefully will get after me. There you go. And then I can freeze them and there they are. So that's really freaking cool, really funny. And yeah, that's actually how easy it is to add some custom potions to Minecraft. But that will already be for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.